A very warm welcome to one and all for the fourth session on the topic Vital Statistics presented by Shantala Kulkarni, Department of Statistics, Gokhte PU College of Commerce and Science, Belgavi. So today we are going to deal with mortality. It's different formulas or different measures of mortality. So let us first define what is mortality. Mortality refers to the deaths occurring in the population. The deaths may be due to a number of causes such as sickness, accident, old age, etc. So mortality basically refers to the deaths occurring in the population. Now let us see which are the different formulas you will be learning under mortality. The first one is crude death rate, CDR. The second one is age specific death rate, ASDR. The third one is standardized death rate. STDR. The fourth one is infant mortality rate IMR. The fifth one is neonatal mortality rate NMR. And the sixth one is maternal mortality rate MMR. So we will go through it one by one. We will begin with the first formula that is crude death rate. Now what is crude death rate? It is the average number of deaths occurring in the year per 1000 individuals. How do we write it in the formula? CDR is equal to number of deaths occurring in the year divided by average population in the year into 1000. CDR is equal to D divided by P into 1000. So here deaths are representing per 1000 individuals. Let us just check the merits and demerits of CDR. First one, it is simple to understand and easy to calculate. Second one, it requires only the total number of deaths and the average population. Third, it indicates the rate of decrease of population due to deaths. These are the three simple merits. The two demerits are, it is an overall figure which does not give importance to age and sex distribution of the population. And the second one, it cannot be effectively used for comparison of mortality of different populations. These are simple sentences put in simple format and easy to understand also. Let us check how do we find CDR with a simple example. With the first example, calculate CDR for the following data. What is given? Age group is given. Population is given. Deaths is given. Ages from 0 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 49, 50 and above. So how do we find CDR for this given example? First we write the formula CDR is equal to D divided by P into 1000. What does D represent? D is nothing but the total number of deaths. That is 440 plus 280 plus 220 plus 180. That totals to 1120. And P is the total number of population and that is 20,000, 22,000, 34,000, 22,000 and that totals to 98,000 and we are going to substitute these values that will be deaths is 1,120 divided by 98,000 into 1,000 and the CDR value when you calculate you get it 11.43. This is a simple example on CDR. Let us come to the second formula. The second formula here is ASDR. So, what is this ASDR? ASDR is age specific death rate. And how do we define or write it in the formula? Number of deaths in the specific age group in a year divided by average population in that age group in a year into 1000. That is equal to D capital D T divided by P T into 1000. Here T represents the specific age group of that particular year. What are the merits and demerits? Let's check what are the merits and demerits of ASDR. First one, it considers age composition of the population because it's specifically saying age specific. So you will be taking uh, the values of only that specified age group. The second merit is it is used in the competition of standardized death rates. Very, very important. Whenever you are going to uh, find or calculate STDR, the first step is to find ASDR. Now let us check the demerits. What is the demerit? The first disadvantage is 
ASDR cannot be used for overall comparison of mortality conditions in two different regions. So you cannot use this formula for comparing. And the second one, it ignores social and occupational factors. So these are the merits and demerits of ASDR. Let us solve an example on the same. What is the example and what is the question on ASDR? Calculate age specific death rates for the age group 15 to 25 years and 25 to 40 years for the given data. So the question is having three columns as usual age, population, number of deaths. Now the first part is to calculate ASDR for the age group 15 to 25. So now let us see what are the values for 15 to 25. The number of deaths to 15 to uh, for the age group 15 to 45 uh, 15 to 25 is 600 and the uh, population value is 30,000. So the formula becomes number of deaths in this age group 15 to uh, 25 divided by total population in the age group 15 to 25 into 1000 and that becomes 600 divided by 30,000 into 1000 that is equal to 20. This is for the first age group. For the second one, it is between 25 to 40. Similarly, what is the value for number of uh, deaths in the age group 25 to 40? It is 400 and the population value is 28,000. So we substitute 400 divided by 28,000 into 1000 that is 14.28. So this is an example on ASDR. Now let us check the third formula on mortality that is standardized death rate standardized death rate we define it as stdr is the weighted average of asdr of population by taking standard population as weights so the word itself is saying standardized death rate means you exclusively need a standard population so and this is a formula where you'll be using to compare the death rates now let us check how do we write it suppose when you're going to compare you want two groups locality a locality b or village a village b town a town b so comparison is basically between two groups for that how do we write we be, we have to calculate stdr for both the groups stdr for a that is summation p a divided by summation p and stdr for b the formula will be summation p b divided by summation p what are the notations let's check capital p is equal to standard population a is the a specific death rate for population a and b is the a specific death rate for population b so when you have to calculate stdr it becomes very much mandatory to first find asdr now when two groups are given and among the two groups if they say that one is a standard population then that standard population itself is a standard for that you only have to apply CDR formula. We will solve that kind of example also. Let us check the merits and demerits of STDR. What is the first advantage? It is a good measure of mortality giving importance to age groups. Then the second one, it can be used for comparison of mortality of two or more populations. See, very important. Whenever we want to calculate death rates, the first part is for to compare. So this is a formula which is exclusively used to compare the mortality rate between two towns or two different areas. What is the first demerit? Let us check what is the first demerit. The first one it says it requires standard population and it is difficult to select the standard population. See every time the word STDR, if there is no standard population, we cannot apply the formula or we cannot calculate it. That's the first disadvantage. And the second one, it is dependent on the age structure of the standard population. Now age structure, sometimes it may even ignore certain age group. So these are the merits and demerits. Now to understand the concept of STDR, let us solve an example. So children, you are going to get a 10 mark question on STDR in section D and it is very easy to solve also. So just you have to keep certain things in the mind and remember the methodology how it should be solved. 
Now what does the question give? You have two datas for town A and town B and then you have a separate column for standard population. Under town A you have the population, you have the deaths. Similarly for town B also you have population and deaths. So what is the first rule to apply or when you are going to calculate SDR? First step is to calculate ASDR for town A and ASDR for town B. Let us do that calculation. So first let us write the formula for ASDR and what does the formula say? Number of deaths in the specific age group in a year divided by average population in that age group in a year into 1000. So 1 by 1 we are going to calculate ASDR for all the age groups. So we have just written a sample how to write it and then we are write I mean the values are written directly. First ASDR for 0 to 10 is going to be what is the first value here? Here it is. 36 divided by 4000 into 1000. See ASDR this is a column here and the values are clearly mentioned. Then the second one 48 divided by 12000 into 1000 the ASDR for town A will be 4. Next one 60 divided by 6000 into 1000 the value will be 10. 152 divided by 8000 into 1000 the value will be 19. So the first step is to calculate ASDR. Then we are going to write the standard population values. Already the column is clearly mentioned in the question itself. So you are going to write that column once more. Now the last one is P into A means standard population into ASDR you are going to multiply. So what is that 9 into 2000 you are going to get 18,000. 4 into 3000 you are going to get 12,000. 10 into 6000 you are going to get 60,000. 19 into 4000 you are going to get 76,000. So the total of summation PA will be 1,66,000 and the total of standard population that is summation capital P will be 15,000. So this is the first step we calculated ASDR for town A. Similarly let us calculate ASDR for town B. So we have made a ASDR column for B then we are going to find the value and how do we do it? 30 divided by 3000 into 1000 you get the value 10. 100 divided by 20,000 into 1000 that is 5. 48,000 into 4000 into 1000 you get it as 12. 60 divided by 3000 into 1000 you get the value 20. So these are the ASDR for town B. Standard population remains the same for both the groups town A and town B. Now again we have repeatedly uh, re written the values of standard population as same. Then we are going to multiply 10 into 2000 that is 20,000, 5 into 3000, 15,000, 12 into 6000 is 72,000, 20 into 4000 is 80,000. So we have already done the total of standard population for a town A and here also we are repeating it that will be summation capital P is 15,000 and summation capital PB will be equal to 1,87,000. So what is the first step? First to calculate ASDR for town A and ASDR for town B. Now let us apply the formula. The formula is very simple. STDR for town A is summation PA divided by summation P. What is the total of that? 1,66,000 divided by 15,000. That is the value will be equal to 11.06. And similarly STDR for B will be summation PB divided by summation P. And that is 1,87,000 divided by 15,000 is equal to 12.46. Now they have asked us to find or comment on the result. So what is the meaning of commenting? When the value of death rate is less, we say that that particular town is healthier. Means the medical facilities, the other uh, requirement, the health conditions, the food, everything is very good. So if the death rate is less, it clearly mentioned that that particular town is very healthy. So with this concerned data 11.06 is less than 12.46 and we come to the conclusion that town A is more healthier. Let us check one more example on the same grounds to make the concept more clear. Now I have taken this particular question from the question paper that is section D 10 marks it carries 10 marks. Now see in this particular example you have age groups, you have locality and under locality you have population and deaths. 
then you have locality B population and deaths and please play, pay attention for locality B in the bracket they have written as standard population in the previous example a separate column of standard population was given but in this particular example you don't have a separate column of standard population but they have clearly mentioned that locality B should be taken as standard population so the capital P values will be 5000, 12000, 10000 and 5000 and now here it's clearly mentioned since locality B is taken as standard we will be only computing CDR for locality B and STDR for locality A whenever one particular group is termed as standard for that you need not apply or you calculate ASDR you simply have to calculate CDR how is it done we will just see see when locality B is already a standard population we only calculate CDR so we just we will do the total of number of deaths that is 90 plus 50 plus 105 plus 125 that will be 370 and the total population value that is uh, 5000 plus 12000 plus 10000 plus 5000 will be 32000 into 1000 that is 11.5625 deaths per thousand population per year so remember whenever it's a standard population you only apply the formula of CDR and when it is not standard for that you have to calculate ASDR now that is for ASDR we are going to calculate for town A or locality A so what are the values here see 120 divided by 6000 into 1000 you are getting the value as 20 similarly the second ASDR value is going to be 4 then 13 then 50 the standard population is going to remain same you will be taking the values of locality B values that is 5000 12000 10000 5000 that is total is 32000 now you're going to multiply 20 into 5000 4 into 12000 13 into 10000 15 to 5000 and those values will sum up and then you write the formula here you have to write the formula for every time you're going to solve the example be it anything ASDR yes you have to write the formula and then STDR for A is 52,000 uh, 5,28,000 divided by 32,000 that is 16.5 and the value for town B is 11.5625 so the death rate value which is less that town is always healthier now here STDR of B is less than STDR of A so locality B or town B is more healthier than the next one so these are the simple examples on STDR, ASDR and CDR so in this class we have studied three different formulas on mortality that is CDR, ASDR and STDR in the next class we will be studying the or well, uh, seeing the new uh, uh, remaining mortality rates thank you so much